Hi guys, so I'm back today with a video um, on the best bookstores in London. So I went just last weekend to London and I visited loads of bookstores um, and so I thought I'd film this video basically recommending um, certain bookstores to you guys, the ones which I thought were the best. So I've got a mixture of like independent stores and also like second-hand independent stores. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just get started right into my first favourite. So Daunt Books is it's honestly just the best bookstore that you will ever go to. So not only as you walk in is it just so beautifully laid out, um, the attendants are so lovely. I had a chat actually with one of the um, with one of the workers there, and we had like a quite a long chat about um, my books because I had like some books in my hand. So he was talking to me about all the books that I had, and then we also started having a chat about uh, Roberto Colasso and his work. I think the Celestial Hunter we brought up. So it was just such an interesting place to go, especially if you do want. Um, to have like a bookish chat with someone um so yeah i would definitely recommend it for that reason because that was just so interesting and really insightful um so yeah brilliant staff that was one of them there's like a fiction section as you go in um, and then as you move into the back um that's where stuff is laid out in kind of their <laughs> unique way it's what they're known for basically so you browse the books by which country like they're from so they had you know a greece section italy they're the ones that i was most drawn to because if you've not already watched any of my videos i am a ancient history student so they're the books that i tend to gravitate towards and that i bought the most of during my trip um but they literally had just an amazing range I think this is why I loved it so much and why I recommend it to you guys because the range of the books that they had was just incredible and that actually brings me to the first book that I got from this store which is a book that I thought quite strangely I've never heard of before I need to find the book now on my pile <laughs> okay I've got it um, and that is uh, Roberto Perigalli the embroidered armor so I've never actually heard of this book before, before I went into the store. And that's why I think the store is even more incredible to me as well. Just because I feel like you can find books in there that weren't even on your radar, but, you know, books that you really like the look of. Which I suppose is the point of a bookstore, but... <laughs> So I'll quickly just talk about it for those that are interested. So he weaves in uh, the Greek philosophical idea of seeing and knowing um, with the actual Greek myths. So I think it looks incredibly interesting. Um, and I'll definitely maybe do a review on this, let you guys know what I think, just because I don't think I've seen a lot of people that have reviewed it. So yeah, I'm really happy with that one. And then I also got one more book, which I'll quickly bring up now before I carry on with the rest of the video. And that is Tragedy of the Greeks and Us by Simon Critchley. Again, this was recommended to me even by the attendant. It was already on my radar though, this book, because I've seen some people on Bookstagram talking about it, um, like a book and a dream a couple of months ago. Um, and it just looks really interesting. My only downside, I would say, with the store is that it didn't have student discount. Although I wouldn't actually say that that was a big deal for me in the moment moment because it, it was just the RRP prices anyway they didn't bump the prices up or anything from the books that I bought at least so you also got a free bookmark as well oh I need to find my bookmark where is it how amazing is this they literally just gave me it free in one of my books and I thought that was a really really nice extra touch actually um, they do say it's like for travellers. Um, I would say, you know, it obviously is for travellers because um, cause it's split up into the country sections. However, um, as you would have seen by the video, not all of the books, like by any means of that, were all travel guides because there were obviously some travel guides there, but I most certainly would not say it was like a travelling 
um, store in my opinion. I feel like I've got nothing but praise for this bookstore. Um, so yeah, if there's only one out of all of these that you can visit, I would definitely recommend it to be this one. I'm going to move on to my next one now because I could just talk about this bookstore all day. So... <laughs> The next one that I'm going to talk about, um, which is all, another one of my absolute favourites that you have to visit in central London, um, is Watkins Books. So this bookstore, I would definitely say it's more tailored to um, the type of person that is interested in like spirituality, philosophy, uh, witchcraft, um, mysticism, that sort of thing. On the first floor, there's, there's like tarot card readings. Um, it's very spiritual. I would definitely. There are some books on the first floor, but they are related to that uh, spirituality theme. So I did not check those out that much. Um, but it is actually still a bookstore because I was a bit worried when I went in. I was like, oh, have I just entered kind of like um, like a hippie mysticism <laughs> um, store? Um, but as you go down into the basement, there is. It is like a full bookstore basically. Um, it's not secondhand, which is the same as Daunt Books on my last one. They're both independent, not secondhand books. So you are paying the full RRP price. I do remember though that with this one, I didn't actually ask about um, student discount just because I forgot. So I am unsure on this one, guys, whether there is student discount or not. Um, but at the same time, I wouldn't say the prices were too bad. It was the RRP price or um, with some books that were quite different because I would still say um as you go in there is still that theme of um you know mysticism um around the books that they choose to stock um it definitely wasn't that by all means there were still books you know on um on history and just general you know fiction non-fiction books um but because of that theme and the aesthetic i decided to actually buy a book kind of related to that so that is why i bought um, Illusion Mysteries and Rights. Um, so for those that don't know, um, Illusion Mysteries um, were basically this set of like religious uh, rites that took place in Eleusis near Athens. A lot is still unknown about it to this day, um, but basically they're religious uh, rites related to uh, Demeter and Persephone, so the goddess of the harvest and the goddess of spring. So I just thought this was a really nice book to get at this particular store. Um, it was actually really funny because as I, as I went to the, um, to the ground floor where I browsed all of the books there, um, there were two guys and they were having like a philosophical debate about, um, Aristotle and Confucius. So, I mean, I mean, it fits, it fits the brand of that bookstore very well. It was kind of like quite pretentious, but at the same time, I loved it. I thought it was, I thought it was quite cool. Um, the next bookstore that I'm going to talk about, which is another one of my favourites, is actually a secondhand bookstore. This is called Any Amount of Books. I just, I loved it. So basically, it was, it's a very small bookstore as soon as you go in. Got like, um, play section, they've got like an ancient history, general history, classics. Um, and they were all really decently priced as well, which is why this is one of my favourite ones to recommend for you guys as well, just because I thought the prices were so good, even for a second-hand bookstore, it was amazing. Um, my only downside to this store, um, so basically as well, I've, I've not mentioned this yet, there is a basement which, has a li which is about the same size, so it is quite a small store, but it is packed to the bloody brim because they it's literally packed to the fucking ceiling with books so i'm really small and i had to get my boyfriend i had to call him and then he had to come and help me get some books down <laughs> so if you're small then that is bring a tall friend you've got to bring a tall friend with you basically um so yeah that was i suppose that's a downside not really a downside i wouldn't say it's like a super ne like a negative about this store um, again, I'm not sure if they did student discount, I didn't ask, just because it's a second-hand one. Um, I don't really expect them to do it. 
um, but the prices of the books were really cheap anyway. And they did have a really good range. I wouldn't say they had a massive ancient history section. Also, I am sorry, um, I am focusing on ancient history just because that those are the books that I do buy. So I'm sorry if you don't buy those and that this is a bit boring for you. <laughs> the basement was like them doing a sale on um, of their secondhand books already so it was a, it was cheaper books still but I would definitely say it was more mismatched so I think you would need to spend a little bit more time in there to properly appreciate and actually find some good gems especially in that basement however in the um, upstairs floor at like the ground floor I did manage to find um, some books that I really wanted um, so I found the first uh, Ladies of Rome and uh, it's by Annalise Friesenbrook um, and I've wanted this one just for so long now, so I was so glad that I found it. I think Waterstone's selling this for £14.99, and I found this for £4 in this store. And then I also just got another one, Aristophanes um, and Menander, because I've not got any of Menander's new comedy. Um, so yet, so <laughs> that's why I bought those two books there, and that was just £3 as well. If there wasn't just a clear -cut ancient history section with the plays you know, Euripides and Sophocles, they weren't in the actual ancient history section, they were in like the plays section. So I wouldn't say that's an issue, it's more just making you guys aware that if you were after that, um, even though it is ancient history, it is in like a separate section, like the theatre play section. Um, but again, that wasn't really an issue, that's just me <laughs> really nitpicking, just so you guys have a, an idea of what it's like. But I would definitely say out of all the secondhand bookstores that I did visit, this one was most, like, most certainly my favourite, and that's why it's had a mention in my favourites uh, now. So yeah, please, please visit and let me know what you think. First floor I think is very, very good, they had a lot of very good books there. So I've just got two more favourites to talk to you guys about. I think the next one that I'm going to bring up is one that most of you would have definitely heard of. And that is Foils. So I think they have a couple of stores across London. But I went to the Charing Cross Road one. I think that's what it's called. Charing Street? Charing Road Cross? Charing who knows <laughs> but i just picked up two books there um foils is kind of set over about five floors um you do get a 10 percent student discount there as well which is amazing and it's just got an absolutely brilliant range of books i don't i honestly couldn't recommend the store enough um especially for browsing i, I would definitely recommend this one over waterstones actually i'm not sure if that's controversial and I got In the Shadow of Vesuvius, A Life of Pliny by Daisy Dunn. So I've wanted to read um, some of her works for quite a while now. I know she's got a book on Catalyst as well, which looks really interesting. Um, but I just thought that I'll get it here because um, Foils did have an amazing range of books. They did also have a lot of textbooks as well. So I would definitely recommend if you're a student checking it out, even if you're just browsing books, because that's mainly what I do. So I browse like the textbooks that they've got because they are a little bit more expensive. So I wouldn't personally buy them I would take photos and then have a look in like my university library for them so I do think um, obviously that's not just aimed at students at all if you're interested in a certain genre um, then you can do that with like your local library as well but that is just something that I do um, when a book is just a little bit too expensive but looks really good that's why foils is an amazing place for browsing because you can get a really good idea of future books that you want to read as well the second book that I got as well I think I mentioned this author before because I was having a chat with the worker in uh, Daunt books about this author and this is Roberto Calasso his The Marriage of Cadmus and Harmony so in this book he just writes really poetically um, and beautifully about the Greek myths so I'm so excited to read this one so overall yeah I definitely would say Foils is um, just a must visit in London because it is a very very well known bookstore people love it and there's a reason why people love it because it is really good
And then my last bookstore that I recommend, like one of my favourite ones, um, is the South Kensington Bookstore. So I actually found this bookstore by chance because me and my boyfriend were visiting some of the museums in South Kensington. Um, and it's literally a five minute walk from there, so it's perfect if you want to visit the museums, then go to the bookstore or vice versa. Um, and I got this book, The Mirror of Venus, uh, who's it by? By Ian Ferris. Now I paid a really decent price for this. This was $9.99, and bear in mind it's a hardback as well. I thought that that was really cheap. Um, and you also, at this store, get a 10% student discount, which is amazing. So I just paid £9 for this book, which is incredible. It's so good. It's not a massive bookstore. It is quite small. Um, as you go in on the front, they do have kind of like an art section, a fiction, new releases, you know, the usual. Um, and then they also have a, very, a quite a small back bit as well. Um, and they've got, they have got a massive classic shelf. Um, I didn't unfortunately find any ancient classics for myself there, um, but they did have quite a small ancient history section, which I did buy from where I bought that book from. Um, so I would say it is definitely one worth visiting if you're into art, history and classics, because um, they did have a very good art range, I remember, at the front. But yeah, I wouldn't say the range is as good as some other bookstores just because its size is really small. But saying that, it was extremely, like, it was quaint, it was lovely. I still found, you know, books that were really interesting for me. The prices as well were very, very decent. So that is why that has made it into my final favourite uh, for you guys. So they're all my favourites that I would recommend to visit in central London. There were a couple of bookstores that I did just not have the time to visit, unfortunately. Um, so those were Scoob Books, Persephone Books, uh, John Santo Books in Chelsea. And I think there was one more that I really wanted to visit. Oh yeah, Gaze the Word as well. I really wanted to visit those four, but I just didn't have the time to, unfortunately. So I'm going to do that next time. However, I did, uh, I could not recommend all of these favourites that I have just listed enough anyway. I do think they're very, very good bookstores, especially Watkins Books. I feel like Daunt Books and Watkins Books are just those two are gems. Please visit. Because I actually haven't heard a lot of people talk about Watkins Books before. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about Daunt Books, which it definitely deserves. But yeah, not a lot about Watkins Books. So please, please visit there. Okay, so that brings me to the end of the video. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, please leave like some comments down below of you know your favourite bookstore in central London, places that you want to visit. If you've had like similar experiences to me as well, I'd love to hear all about that. Um, for future content, please uh, yeah subscribe. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week. Bye everyone.